Welcome to the Pharmacy Leaders Podcast with your host, Tony Guerra. The Pharmacy Leaders Podcast is a member of the Pharmacy Podcast Network with interviews and advice on building your professional network, brand, and a purposeful second income from students, residents, and innovative professionals. Welcome to a special Sunday edition of the Pharmacy Leaders Podcast. I'm reading this book or listening to it on Audible called Getting Things Done. And I had a little bit of a break in time, and so I'm going to go over uh, the episodes that we expect to see on the Pharmacy Leaders Podcast in this coming up week, and then do a little bit of a quick uh, rundown of some podcast episodes that I recommend that you listen to. Uh, Sundays are generally my long run day, so I'll run hopefully two hours today, uh, maybe a little bit more. Um, I feel 14 miles would be a good, good amount today. So I load up on the podcast episodes that I'm uh, listening to and uh, go out and do it. So this week on the Pharmacy Leaders podcast, we're going to have Jackie Boyle, who's doing a new series, Women in Leadership, and she'll be the primary interviewer, and uh, she's going to be picking the interviewees that she feels are contributing or uh, demonstrating through their actions uh, support of women in leadership. Uh, on Wednesday, we're going to have the big announcement for the three stipends, travel stipends for APHA, uh, and uh, we'll hear from Jackie Boyle, who will take the extrovert side. How does an extrovert network? Now, you might think that that's intuitive. Ext- extroverts just go out there and talk to people, but really, as an extrovert, sometimes listening is the uh, biggest challenge to really listen to what the other person's saying, make sure to Uh, follow up and those types of things. And then on Friday, we'll hear from Brandon Dyson of TLDR Pharmacy, who will take the introvert side, what are some recommendations for an introvert and how they might engage and network um, to make sure that if they want to go to, you know, X uh, region for uh, their uh, career, that uh, they're going to be one of the top candidates because they're going to know people and they're going to be uh, in that fast track group. So in terms of other podcasts that I listen to this week, uh, I am a voracious podcast listener. Uh, I go to, I have a long commute on Monday, Wednesdays, so that's about 90 minutes that I listen to uh, each Monday, Wednesday, and then uh, always on Sunday is my long run, uh, so about two hours, 14 miles is what I'll do today. And I either have listened to or I've stacked these as something that I'm going to listen to. So let's first talk about the mothership. Uh, the Pharmacy Podcast Network. Uh, we had an episode about the making an impact in the opioid epidemic, and that was on Monday. And also, uh, we had an episode from Dr. Maury Shaw, the doctor of comedy, joining Adam Martin, the fit pharmacist, uh, to talk about how laughter can be sometimes the best medicine and, and talk about some of the physiology and chemistry that goes along with that. But that really... Uh, we always tend to think about the medicines and, and how the patient needs to take them, but also maybe we should think of some of the things outside of uh, medicine uh, to help them as well. Uh, we saw Mike Johnston, CPHT, who is the CEO of the National Pharmacy Technician Association on Wednesday, and uh, I know him, I've met him uh, one time actually, but we are both national authors. Uh, I write for Elsevier, a pharmacy technician uh, book for them, and then he also uh, has a nationally published uh, book. So I encourage you to listen to Mike Johnston, uh, especially if you have pharmacy technicians in your life or you're a pharmacy technician. Aaron Albert uh, interviews uh, Dory Clark, who is from the Duke University Fuqua School of Business. Uh, She's a professional speaker, and she talks a bit about Uh, what it is um, to uh, reinvent and help others make changes in their lives. Uh, Then the Pharmacy Inspection Podcast, Seth and Brian will talk with Rad Dillon. Uh, He's a pharmacist and certified surveyor and consultant for the Accreditation Committee for Healthcare. Uh, And he knows a lot about the PCAB accreditation audits. So if you are in the compounding world, definitely listen to those guys. And then... There's a couple of other podcasts that I want to mention 
Uh, one that uh, you may or may not have heard of is Core Console RX. Uh, Mike does a fantastic job doing some case studies, and um, I'll talk about Helix Talk in a minute, but if you're in residency interview mode, I would definitely uh, listen to how Mike and Cole sit down and, and talk about the COPD case, uh, how they talk about uh, the hypertension guidelines uh, in that first episode, uh, really some great clinical uh, knowledge there. And then I know uh, Mike has... And contests going on on Instagram. I just got back on Insta, so I have you know almost ten thousand YouTube followers, seven thousand Twitter followers, but I might have you know two or three hundred on uh, Instagram at my Tony Farm D one. So, but check out Core, Core Consult RX uh, on Instagram. Uh, that promotion I think only goes another day. Uh, on the Talk to Your Pharmacist podcast, uh, Hillary Blackburn had a guest from the United States Air Force uh, who was a pharmacist and uh, obviously serving her country, but she has a really great story as well. And uh, Helix Talk, they're going to be dropping a new episode, I expect, in the next couple days, uh, but they had uh, recently drop it like it's hot, Prazosin and the 2017 VA DOD PTSD guidelines. Uh, if you're studying for NAPLEX and you're you know, ahead on that. I know many of you won't study until uh, after you know you're getting residency or job and all these things. Uh, but I definitely recommend at least checking out a couple episodes from Helix Talk out of the Rosalind Franklin uh, College of Pharmacy up there in Chicago. Um, I think I covered all of them. Uh, we had a bunch of us were recently in an article uh, from PBAHealth.com uh, about the. I think the title was the most relatable pharmacy podcast to download. And pharmacy podcast, uh, pharmacy leaders, pharmacy inspection, talk to your pharmacist, and Helix Talk uh, made the top five on that list. Uh, so again, I hope you guys have a great week. And again, I'm always looking uh, for uh, podcast episodes, uh, not just to interview, but uh, if you are doing something like maybe you're going to a um, we just had our legislative day downtown uh, in Iowa. So if you're going to a legislative day and want to interview someone, if you want to interview a residency site and you know talk about your residency site and why it would be the best one uh, for students, uh, anything like that, anything that's an interview that has to do with leadership, that has to do with entrepreneurship, uh, I'm happy to uh, publish the episodes uh, as long as it's more of a nonprofit type of thing, or maybe you're a micropreneur and you just got this really cool thing. It's like 15 or 20 bucks or something like that. Uh, and you can uh, do something like that. So again, uh, I really want to make uh, the pharmacy leaders podcast, a community of leaders uh, in my spare time, obviously with the new Facebook, uh, the way Facebook works for businesses, you would want to create a group uh, rather than uh, what I have, which is, uh, uh, memorizing pharmacology is a, it's a education site and kind of a portal, uh, but it would probably be better for me to have a group, and uh, maybe over summer I'll be able to put that together. Uh, so again, uh, if you have any questions, comments, I'm always happy to hear from you. Usually the easiest way to get in touch with me is on Facebook through Messenger at Tony Farm D one uh, but I also encourage you to check out some of the non-audio uh, sources that are really, really doing a great job, and that's uh, Brandon Dyson at TLDR Pharmacy, thepharmacygirl.com, and then, of course, Core Consult RX, Evidence-Based based Medicine Reviews. Uh, all those guys are doing a great job of providing uh, fantastic free information uh, for uh, you guys and, and for uh, those uh, that are making it through pharmacy school and moving towards uh, things like BCPS. Okay, have a great weekend, and... Uh, we'll hear from Jackie Boyle tomorrow, Monday, uh, January 29th. Support for this episode comes from the audiobook Memorizing Pharmacology, a relaxed approach. With over 9,000 sales in the United States, United Kingdom, and Australia, it's the go-to resource to ease the pharmacology challenge. Available on Audible, iTunes, and Amazon.com. In print, ebook, and audiobook. 
Thank you for listening to the Pharmacy Leaders Podcast with your host, Tony Guerra. Be sure to share the show with the hashtag #PharmacyLeaders. Leaders. 